Hi, welcome to Eurovisionary. I'm John and we're reporting from the first day of rehearsals here in Malmo for the 2013 Eurovision Song Contest. Today is the 6th of May and we're going to be seeing eight countries rehearse during the course of the day. Um, we're here to bring you all the action. First on today, rehearsing with Austria. Um, Natalia is on stage and she's accompanied by five backing singers. It, it comes across very well. She's performing in sort of a, a dark set that's got blue and green tints about it. There are also a load of what I could describe as white drooping lights that are coming down and during the second chorus they all rise up and you see the backing singers a lot more. Um, the effect's pretty good um, but I just and Natalia as I say is a very good singer. I just can't help thinking that at some point she's always been practicing in the bathroom with the hairdryer with what with with how some of it comes across. Um, but it's a good opener, and I think next Tuesday when she performs in the semi-final, um, she'll give give yeah give a good interpretation of the song. Welcome back. Next to rehearse today on the day one was Estonia. Um, I have to admire them for sticking to the Estonian language. It's not kind on some ears, but I absolutely love it. Um, Birgit um, is where it was wearing the dress that we presume that she's going to be wearing on the night, which is the long white billowing number, um, which looks really good on her. Um, it starts off all in black and white, just for the first verse, um, and she's performing on a small stage at the end of the catwalk. Um, once we hit the first chorus, it all goes to colour and she moves back to the main part of the stage um, to, to join the, the three backing singers that are placed modestly just out of the way. Um, the backdrop is blue again, could be a, a theme developing here, but it's sort of watery, ripply and geometric shapes, and it's all very nice. Um, the whole effect is very good, um, in my opinion it's going to it's going to um, rain all over Austria's parade, I think. So I'm sorry, Austria, but Estonia is the best one so far. Thank you. Hi, I'm John again. Um, third to rehearse today, we uh, had Slovenia. Um, Hannah, Hannah, the American Hannah, uh, took to the stage. Um, the immediate effect uh, includes some strobe lighting, which may affect some some viewers. Um, it was all flashing with lots of bold blue, white and red. Um, she's joined on stage by three backing dancers and two backing singers. The two backing singers include a Danish pop idol winner, Linda Andrews, but they're very, placed very discreetly off stage. Um, anyway, uh, Hannah and her backing dancers are all dressed in black, presumably what they'll be wearing on the, on the, on the Tuesday night. Um, her costume has sort of a feathered effect around here, which looks a little bit strange. Um, she uses the stage a lot. She's here, there and everywhere, going down the catwalk, coming back up it on the way to the stage. Um, the backing dancers are doing lots of acrobatics, backflips, um, funny movements with their arms. Sadly, Hannah's, Hannah's rehearsal was very off-key. Um, they've got another rehearsal to turn this around, but it didn't sound very good, I have to say. Um, we may not be seeing Slovenia a week on Saturday, but used to say they've got a bit of time to turn it around. I know she's a professional singer, so she could well do it. Hi, next to rehearse this morning was Croatia. Um, now you all know what they are. They're a super group of um, people from the, the Clapper style of music, which is very popular in Croatia. And to be honest, they are very, very good at this. They are very good. Um, I didn't give this one much of a hope when I heard it in the previews and saw it before I arrived in Malmo. But seeing it on stage there, it is really good, they know what they're doing, they're working the cameras and it's all really good. Um, the backdrop, it's all very red, white and blue, so it's in the Croatian colours. All of the guys are dressed in traditional, um, traditional outfits, so you've got white shirt, black trousers, black boots, um, long black frock coats with loads of gold piping on. Um, so it all has the effect. It's, it's a bit Bonaparte.lv and we all know how well they did when they were in Eurovision. So I think we can expect this one to go through. It's, it's good, it sells it and it's completely different to the songs either side of it. So I think on this morning's rehearsal, Croatia is going through. Welcome back. Next country to rehearse 
uh, we've just seen is Denmark, one of the hot favourites to win the whole competition the week on Saturday. Now what can we say? It's ticking pretty much all of the boxes what we've seen there. Um, the, this, the, 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 stage, the stage setting is pretty much as it was seen uh, in the Danish national final a few months ago. Um, Emily herself is there in a, a waif-like white dress, um, sitting on the stage, which she, where she stays for the first verse. We start off with the little, the, the girl with a little penny whistle, who's uh, stood on the, the catwalk at the end of the stage. We see him, and then it goes straight to her. Um, it's all very effective. We get the drummers. Uh, she sings around him. Um, Big drums, little drums, every sort of drum that you could wish for. Some very discreetly placed backing singers just to help her all along. The backdrop suits the song, because as, as Red mentioned very early on in the song, so the backdrop is like reds, golds, oranges. It's all very vibrant and warm. Um, do I have any criticisms of this? The only one I could possibly have is she doesn't always look at the camera, perhaps when she should do. There are times when she doesn't need to, but there are other times that she doesn't, and she probably should. Um, apart from that, this, this performance is pretty much there, so I expect to see it do very well on the 18th of May. By the way, I have to add that the assembled press watching in the little cinema, cinema this is the first song that got a huge round of applause off everyone. Uh, and if the press like it, then they're going to sell it to you, so look out for this one on the 18th of May. Song number six to rehearse today was Russia. Um, you can always expect good things of Russia because they always get sailed through to the final what, you know, with some pretty good stuff they've put in in the past. And this one is up there among them. Um, it's a good big ballad, it's solid, it builds well, it has all the right key changes in all the right places. Um, she was dressed today in a long salmon pink dress which we assume that she might be wearing but they also uh, got out for, for the cameras to see a very pale grey sort of dress. Didn't really look as good, it looked, if I was to be honest, it was like something white that had been washed with something black, so it's quite a very pale grey. But if she wears it for the next rehearsal it might look okay. Um, she's got four backing singers with her that are all carefully choreographed. They, they stay in line, they walk put forwards and backwards together, they hold hands, they think, uh, all the rest of it. The two, the two boys bring out these big football type things that she sort of seems to lay her hands on or anoint or something like that before they're thrown into the crowd. I'm not sure whether that really works. The ball theme is continued with loads and loads of uh, light globes um, down both sides of the stage and behind her as well. Um, give a very light effect and the backdrop even further behind sort of gives the effect of a sunset or a sunrise. So it's all like warm and nice and good. And yeah, I think it will make the final. Um, it is Russia after all, and it's not just because of the friendly votes, it's because it's a decent song, it's put together well, she can hold a tune. Next on, song number seven of the day was Ukraine. Uh, and it's got a certain reaction from the people in the press area, but not necessarily for all the right reasons. I'll come on to that in a second. Um, Zlata is there, she's looking good, she's got lo her long dark hair and she's wearing a very figure hugging cream dress. She's backed by four backing singers, placed you know, equally behind her on the stage from left to right. Um, two guys, two girls, um, nothing wrong with that. The backdrop to it is an impression of a forest. Um, various light, blue light shining through it, uh, gold light, sunrise or sunset. Um, the, the highlight or low light of this is the inclusion of the, the sixth person on stage. The sixth person on stage, we, we understand, is the tallest man in Ukraine. He's two and a half metres tall, or eight foot five if you're British. And he carries her bodily onto stage and places her on a rock that's about, I don't know, about a metre high. Um, she then proceeds to sing the song, swaying and moving and almost falling off, but not quite. Um, being brought on stage, it just got laughs from the, from, the, from, the, from the press. I don't know whether it was a good thing or a bad thing, whether people are laughing for all the wrong reasons. It's something they may have to look at for the second rehearsal. But having said that, it got people talking about the song. It's, 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 it 
call it a gimmick if you will, but it is a gimmick that people will talk about and it might encourage them to vote for it come um, the, the semi-final that it's in. I think it will qualify, but they need, they need to work on this. I think we might see a very different thing when we see the second rehearsal. Uh, but as for qualifying, yes, I think Ukraine will be through to the, semi, to the, to the final on the 18th of May. And today we finished the rehearsals, the last one, the eighth one of the day is the Netherlands. After a fun and games of Ukraine, it's just been fun. The Netherlands. Now this is one of those songs that is like nothing else this year. So it, it's going to do one, one or two things. It's either going to score re really highly off everyone, or it's going to score nothing at all because no one gets it. Um, now, Anouk. She's an experienced singer, and you can tell by the way she puts us over. It's very, it's very cool, very controlled, very assured. Um, she's just there on, on the, the front part of the stage at the end of the catwalk, just by herself. Today she was just in a black t-shirt, black jeans. Um, whether she'll be wearing them on the night or not, I just don't know yet. But it'll be a nice surprise for the next rehearsal. Um, there are three backing, backing singers on the main part of the stage, but they're basically shrouded in shadow, and you can just see them sort of in silhouette at certain points. Um, so, in effect, the camera's just all on her, and that's what this sort of song needs. Um, the backdrop, I don't know how much we're going to see of it on camera, but we, from what we saw, for the verses, it was um, uh, just very, very plain and pleasant, and then it picked up and it was just birds flying. So you get the, the, chorus, the chorus part of the song. Um, again, it's all very effective, it's very dramatic, it's very dark, which is what a song like this needs. Mean and moody. Um, as I say, it's one of these Marmite sort of songs, you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, it got a huge round of applause from the press and the press centre, probably the second biggest one of the day after Denmark. Um, I honestly don't know. I think it could qualify. Um, as I say, it could qualify by a streak for the first semi final, or it could finish 16th in the semi final, or it could just as easily finish 8th. There's no telling because this sort of thing hasn't been done before. We just have to wait and see, but we should hopefully have a better idea by the end of the second rehearsal. So that's the last rehearsal of the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've heard, what you've seen, what you may have seen on the official website, videos and everything. Uh, we'll be back in the morning for the second half of the first semi-final. Thank you and goodbye.